What's good, Trappers? It's your boy, the Wall Street Trapper. And y'all know my goal is just to help the culture build wealth, one share at a time. So, right now we're going to talk about back-to-school investing. And the reason why I titled this back-to-school investing is because what I want us to do is realize that investing in the stock market is essential for us to build wealth. We can build wealth by the places we shop, the places we eat, the clothes that we wear, the services that we use. These are important places, situations, and just things that we can use to start investing in the stock market. It's everywhere around us. And I want us to be adherent to that and understand that the stock market is a place that we can go to build wealth at all times. So the reason why I titled this back to school investing is, hey, it's time for us to put the kids back in school. So why not if we're going to spend money with these places all the time, why not start simply investing in these same businesses, right? So one of the businesses I want to talk about is Simon Property, right? Ticket symbol, SPG. They have a dividend yield of 5.81%, which is really good. The stock price right now is about $130, $150.30 as we speak. Now, the thing about Simon Property is they are the largest operator in malls in the United States of America. They have about 325 malls. Last year alone, they collected about $2.8 billion in net income. They generated about $5.7 billion in revenue, which is not bad. The total portfolio increased <clears throat> by 3.7%, which gave them roughly about an extra $238 million extra in the year. Why did I choose this company? Because how many of us have to go get tennis for our kids? We go to the malls, we go to outlets. These are the places that Simon property own. When you think about going to Atlanta, Phipps Plaza, they own that. If you're in Houston, Houston, the Galleria Mall, they own that. See, we gotta understand is these malls, right, they are just like having a fourplex or a multi-unit home, right? This is the same concept. People come in side of the mall and they rent those spaces. Who are they renting the spaces to? Simon Property Group. These are the places that we go often to buy clothes, except for me, because you know I'm wearing Wall Street you travel stuff all the time. You dig, right? But this is the place that we go to buy our clothes, not only for ourselves, but for our kids. We go and get those tennis shoes. Maybe when we go and get a certain kind of shirt, this back to school investing for us. So this is a major place for us to go. So why not invest in this business? I mean, it's a REIT, a real estate investment trust, and I'll talk about that later on. And what this simply is, is someone who's going to pay us dividends consistently, right? And when we're investing in REITs, we're not really so much looking at the price fluctuation. We're looking at them for the overall dividend, right? And their stock price will change compared to how uh, things are going in the economy with Donald Trump saying all kind of tweets. You know, we're only one tweet away from things happening, right? But this is definitely, definitely a great investment for us. Another back to school investment is good old Walmart, right? Ticket symbol WMT. They have a dividend yield. It's pretty low, about 1.89%. As of now, the stock price is about $114. Listen to me. It's not one time that you have went in Walmart and spent less than $114. It's almost impossible, right? Walmart has 11,300 stores worldwide. They have 58 e-commerce sites worldwide in 27 countries. Last year, at the end of 2018, they generated $518 billion in revenue. That's a lot of money, yo. It's a half a trillion dollars that Walmart generated in revenue. What great, what's great about that is they returned about $13.5 billion to their shareholders, which means two things to us. They're good at using shareholder capital, which is the money that they get from shareholders, and generating that, expanding the business, and then giving some of that money back in the form of dividends. Now, we do know that Walmart has a room to increase that dividend. Now, we're not mad at that because as long as the dividend is not extremely high with a store like Walmart, we good because we know that they're going to consistently uh, grow the business. As of right now, in 2019, 
they're actually slightly ahead of Amazon in the retail business. Now, I want you all to understand something. I'm not going to get too much into this. Amazon is not a retail company. They really just do retail for fun. They make their money off of AWS, right? Amazon Web Services. Walmart is a specific retailer. So this is how they make their money. So they are back, they're getting back to that number one spot. And we expect that, right? Everywhere you go, there is a Walmart or a small Walmart. You know, this is just what it is. The reality of it is Walmart is actually putting like little mom and pop stores out of business because they're putting a the little small Walmart there. But you know you go on a Walmart to get school supplies, book bags, dickies, school shirts, socks drawers, tank tops, pencils, glue, you name it, you go on to Walmart and get it. So why not invest in Walmart right now, right? That's one of your back to school investments. Come on now. It's not that hard. My goal is to show us how easy it is for us to build wealth. Think about these two businesses. Simon Property, we going to the mall, we spending money, we buying things for our kids, right? Buying tennis shoes and all that. They want to go to the mall and Walmart, right? Just think about this. You're going to spend at least 150. That's the price of Simon property on back to school shopping. Why not get that back in the form of a dividend through the business? Right? At that point, the business is now paying you for investing in them or for spending money with them. Right? And you you've always spent more than $114 in Walmart. Why not spend that 114 on the stock? Consistently buy the stock. Let them repay you in dividends. Now, the business is paying you. And think about it. If you like me, my daughter is three years old. Like, she has a long time <laughs> to me be buying school clothes and school supplies. And most likely, I'm going to go to Walmart and get those school supplies. So, I'm your boy, the Wall Street Traveler. I just really want to tap into you all with that. I got another one coming soon called Back to School Investing. So, do me a favor. Click that link, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, wall underscore street underscore trapping. And if you're interested in my private group, Trappers Elite, hit your boy up, man. I'm out. One.